All right, folks, this is the Shade Tree Engineer veteran, military veteran, uh, uh, Baptist evangelist, creator of the self deployable full motion bracket system to deploy it in the water and take it out of the water and to put it in straight forward to down view or any angle in between or to be able to put it into landscape in the straight forward to down position or any angle in between this is a complete new system it is a wireless remote control system and it is uh, touch toe control I have to control one element of this system with a joystick up front or I could mount it on the floor or I could put another uh, remote control for it if I wanted to now let me say before I show you what I have designed I haven't got the mega live transducer mounted I had to send mine back to hummingbird and they have been really gracious in helping me with my older model Solix Gen 2 trying to get it all to work with Mega 360, Mega Live, uh, the side imaging, down imaging, and maps and everything to work correctly on it and to load cor correctly. Now I will give a more detailed description of this video tomorrow but right now my main desire is to just video and document that I created this. I got my Mega Live transducer in December of 2021 and I created the uh, poor man system of completely controlling it, uh, the live view transducer and the Mega 360, being able to rotate it 180 degrees, being able to put it in landscape mode or in straight forward or straight down mode and uh, I, it did not self-deploy and I told you about my back surgery and rods and screws in my back and three heart surgeries one where they took my heart out and cut the top off of it I've been fighting heart problems all my life and my back problems is getting worse all the time so I got hurt in special forces in the military well I wanted to go a step further I wanted something that I could remote control and deploy the whole system in and out of the water uh, the other one I had to manually put it in and manually take it out but I could control the forward and down position or the landscape position all from a joystick up on my chair arm or my seat on my front deck and it was all mounted on the back well I've got a new system now it's all mounted on the back let me say that it's overkill I hope that uh, some of these companies have got the technology and ability to get with me and pick up on my what I've designed here and give me some credit for it. Uh, but that probably won't happen. It will probably get stolen from me. But this is overkill because I'm using a Minn Kota Altera. I had an old boat. I bought a new boat. The old boat because of my disability had the Altera on it. My new boat, I had a new Altera put on it. So I had to customize the Altera. I customized some brackets on the lower end of it so it'll stop in the right place. I customized the bracket for my Mega Live and for my 360, it's built onto the bottom of it. I shortened the shaft and attached it onto the shaft of the Mega I mean on the Altera. So uh, this system is designed to pick up a really large motor, the Altera system, Minn Kota. But I've taken the motor and shaft off of it. I put another shaft on it, cut it to the length I wanted it, and put a belt on it. And so I have engineered this system from that uh, 
base and motor that turns it and motor that picks it up and the top head on it and the foot pedal is all part of this system. So I'm going to show you very quickly because it's getting dark on my shade tree here. I'm going to show you and I'm not going to have the camera on me now. I'm going to show you that it all works and then I'm going to do another video following this one with the Mega Live with the Solix. So click on that little bell to the right. That gives you an alarm bell whenever I put up another video. And also subscribe so you'll be able to see my videos on your YouTube channel when you click on it. Your YouTube channel, you can just scroll down and I'll be one of your subscribe stations, uh, channels. My YouTube channel is four words, The Shade Tree Engineer at YouTube. My email is the shade tree engineer at gmail.com. Or you can get a hold of me. As I said, I'm a Baptist evangelist, King James preacher, 75 years old, been preaching 50 years this month of July coming. Uh, conclude 50 years. The, the uh, address to get a hold of me there is evangelist Andy Rushing at gmail.com all one word evangelist andy rushing r-u-s-h-i-n-g at gmail.com or you can call me at 409-489-2164 so now i'm gonna go over this very quick and the next video after this one will have my mega live three and 360 on my screen of my solix and all everything will be mounted the solics will be turned on and i'll show you what happens when you change from landscape or in the forward to down or any degree in between but right now i'm just going to demonstrate the brackets and the fact that they work and so here's what we're looking at all right i've had to, as i said i adapted the shaft of my 360 i cut it off I put silicon rubber down inside of that shaft and the wires come out here. They will join up with the Mega Live wires that's going to be on this side. And they'll all be supported in a, those rod holders that you get for bass rods that's got that expanded material on them that you, you push it together and it gets real big and you can stick your rod up in, fishing rod up inside of it. And then when you stretch it back tight, it tightens down on the rod. Uh, some material like that or some kind of uh, uh, wiring sh sleeve that you that can be put on this. I'm going to protect my wiring uh, for the Mega Live and Mega 360. All right, I had to make a stop bracket. As you look at it right there, you can see there's a switch right here. If you don't make this bracket and stop this thing at the right place, it's going to go up against this and it's going to tear your belt up. By the way, a little hint. If you run the belt, stretch it down here on this end, just take it all loose, put it up at the upper end, and put the upper end down here, and you back and run it for, until you mess it up again. But, uh, so I made these brackets here to set in the saddle where the motor used to sit. And this one on this side trips the switch under here in the saddle to stop this mechanism so it don't go all the way up against your motor housing. All right, so... Uh, this here is just a PVC coupling. It's glued onto the shaft that I got out of the junk pile, scrap junk shaft, and put in this system. And uh, I've got the collar that held, that was right above my motor that held the belt in place. And I got a U bolt around that collar to hold this piece of square tubing that's bolted to these two saddle brackets that I made to set in the saddle. And then I got it screwed to the Mega Live bracket right here to give it some extra support on the Mega Live. If this PVC coupling breaks, if I hit a stump, it's replaceable. And that's the reason I put that that way. So, got 360 down here at the bottom. Mega Live is going to be right here in this area. And so now I want to show you. It's a little clanky and noisy. I've still got some adjustments to make. But the rod for the Mega Live 
comes up through a bracket right there and then the mega live landscape mode is working off of a joystick on my front chair and that rod goes down and puts it into the landscape mode which it is in right now pointing straight down so whenever i drop this whenever i deploy this system it's going to automatically put it in the um, forward position so let's deploy it there's my foot control and I'm going to tap my foot control with my foot. And there she goes, folks. She's deploying. A little noisy because them rods flop. Now, it's in the straightforward landscape mode, as you can see. Let me back off to the side here, and you can see it a little better. It's in the straightforward landscape. I can lower that down further on the boat if I want to shoot out the other side of the boat, but I don't fish on the right side of the boat. If you're a bass fisherman, you might want to see everything uh, up on that side of the boat in front of you. But this can be lowered even further. You see, I still got another eight or 10 inches. I can go on down below the bottom V of the hull and it the actuator's mounted up there on the shaft. Now, you notice when this thing deploys on your front of your boat, if you got an old terror, it, it, or one that self deploys when it deploys it's going to be turned sideways like that uh, if you see what I'm talking about it'll be pointing uh, t from the front of your boat and you look back there it's going to be sideways well if you had it up on the front of the bow like my other Altair and you deploy it you're going to see it from the side just like that right there but in reverse this be turned this way and so it automatically is that uh, angle in line with the back of my boat. See, that's in line with the back of my boat. Well, rather than touch my foot control and have to rotate that a quarter of a turn so my transducer plate would be right, I left it in that position because that's the automatic stopping point of where it stops when it deploys it. It's turned sideways. So, straight in line with the back of my boat. So that puts my Mega Live looking straight forward. And my Mega 360, I rotated the shaft, put a bolt through it so that it's looking straight forward in that position right there. Now, I'm gonna see if I can set this camera where you can see that plate. Uh, let's see if we can set that camera where you can see that plate. Maybe it'll stay put. Now, I'm going to go up there and work the joystick. And, uh, put the... Now, did you see that plate come down? It's in the straight, almost straight forward right there. Watch it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it back up in the landscape mode. Alright, you see it's in the landscape mode. You say, well, I want, to, I want it in the landscape mode, but I want to be able to look more toward the down uh, position. So, uh, how do you get it in down? You just touch that foot control up front and it'll point it down. Bring it back up in the flat position like that with the foot control down there. I'm touching it with my toe. That's what moves it, see? I'm doing it all with the Altair foot control. All right, now I want to get in the forward position or the down position. I take my joystick and I move that actuator and lower that. Hey, I don't know if you saw it or not, but I lowered that Mega Live bracket down. And you say, well, uh, I want it straight forward or straight down. You touch this foot control and you can put it in the straight down position. 
like so. It's looking straight down right there. Now, I know without the Mega Live transducer, it's a little hard to tell, but that's what it is. Now we want to look straight forward. We just bring this up a little bit, and you'll be able to see that on your on your Solix or your Hummingbirds. And if you're using Lowrance or Garmin or some other, or if you want to put uh, side view imaging on here, I don't whatever you want to mount on this thing, you can turn it any degree straight forward to straight down to straight forward. Whoop, a little bit too much. I like to like to put it back in the boat in the stowed position. All right, to straight forward, and you can as you come up slowly with that with your foot you'll be able to see your bottom on your screen. You can level it out where your bottom is straight across on your Solix screen so it's not narrow on one side and tall on the other side to the bottom. It'll be the same distance from the top of the screen to the bottom all the way across. Uh, just by making a few little touches on your touch control of your foot. Now, let's, I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna show you this joystick I got right here. I'm gonna take that joystick and I'm going to put it in landscape mode. You should have been able to see that. I put it in landscape. Now I'm going to go back here. I want to put it back in straight. Uh, I want to put it in straight down position in landscape. There you have it. Straight down. And I want to take it out. And I'm, I'm doing it with my foot on this cut. cut. Now you know, you know that uh, Mega Live, I mean uh, Solix, uh, you know that they uh, have a remote control, right? A little remote handheld control. You can do everything that I'm doing sitting in the front seat with the handheld remote control, except you cannot. Put it in landscape and take it out of landscape unless you use the joystick and the actuator that I mounted on there. I know it's a little crude looking right now, but I got some fine adjustments to make. And so now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm taking it out of landscape. And now I'm taking it, putting it back in the boat. That's the that's stowed. Now I'm going to put it back in the water. As you can see, a little noisy because the way I got to do the rods to make it go into the landscape mode and uh, the back out of landscape into into the uh, uh, all right there we have it I'll demonstrate the remote control and I'll demonstrate the live view uh, mega uh, the solar screen and everything but I sh I've proven to you that I can put it in the water, take it out of the water, put it in straight forward, put it in, put it in uh, straight forward or any degree down to straight down anywhere I want it. And I've proven to you that I can put it into landscape and back out of the landscape and I can point la landscape from straight forward to straight down. I can lower my trolling motor further if I want to, uh, go down uh, below the boat but I got mine set at a set depth I want it to stop at a certain depth and that's the depth that I'm going to use it at to fish with because I fish from the left half of my boat all the way out 
to the front and and you can rotate this i forgot to show you that uh you can take it out of deploy and hit the rotate button and you can rotate this mega live different directions you can't rotate it a lot to the left but out straight away from the boat at a 90 degree angle you can you can uh uh put it at a 90 degree angle straight out from the boat or you can uh rotate it back to the to the front position and so i set the depth where i want to fish it under my boat and since the back end of the boat sets down generally a little further in the water than the front end uh, that's the way it w is so if you will folks hit the little bell i know this is this is shade tree engineering the shade tree engineer and my shade has turned in, into darkness here in east texas on toledo bend lake this is the shade tree engineer folks help a disabled veteran a disabled person a disabled or limited mobility or somebody that just needs a little extra hand elderly uh, to be able to uh, automatically from the front of the boat deploy it put it down and forward to straight down to and anywhere in between or put it in the landscape from straight forward to straight down or any degree angle in between take it in and out of the lake rotate it 90 degrees all from the front seat and if you're a bass fisherman and you want to put it on the front of the boat and fish uh you can you can rotate it and see left to right and see out in front of you uh, you won't be able to rotate 180 degrees because of the rods system I've got. If you wanted to do away with the actuator I got up here bolted on that puts it in landscape and out of landscape, you could do that with a manual rod. Just reach over there and pull it up and hook it. But And you'd get a little more rotation on your rotation ability on it. And as I said, this is overkill. Most people don't want to spend the kind of money, but I already had this Altera on my old boat, and everybody wanted me to give them my old boat with a new, practically new engine on it, uh, the whole new factory block on the 70 Johnson, and uh, a $2,500 plus tax trolling motor on the front. Uh, I got more than five thousand dollars in the boat, and I was trying to sell it for five thousand, just to get my money back out of the motor and the. Oh, well, I was still losing money, but anyway, nobody, everybody wanted me to come down off the price, and so I just took the old tear off of it, took the motor and shaft out of it, got me a scrap shaft, put it in there, cut it off the length I wanted it, swapped the belts and everything, and then I made the the motor uh, saddle brackets to stop it from going in too far and hit the switch and so and that was one of the hardest things to do folks i'm gonna tell you i like to never figure that out where it would work smooth and not hang up but anyway i got it figured out now uh, if you want it to go down deeper in the water uh, i can tell you how to do that if you want to fish all the way on, under your boat from left to right yeah, you, know, you you'll only be able to cover about 120 about 120 degrees i'd say but at any rate uh i'm hoping that uh johnson outdoors Minn Kota, hummingbird when they see what i've done with their with their device uh this thing could be reduced at least half in size and or maybe maybe a third as big as it is uh this altera Minn Kota housing and everything. Since you're not picking up a heavy motor, you're just picking up some transducers. Uh, I think everything could be scaled down tremendously and the cost shouldn't be prohibited for elderly and disabled and uh, limited mobility people and people that just wants to fish in general. So I'm here to say that this is Andy Rushing, the East Texas shade tree my youtube channel is the 
Shade Tree Engineer. Four words, The Shade Tree Engineer at YouTube. Folks, I declare that I am the first to make a fully remote control wireless or touch toe self-deploy to put the transducers of any kind of transducer mega live hummingbird brand or lawrence or garmin or any other kind of transducer you want to name 360 is being deployed at the same time i got a switch up front i can turn 360 on or off at any time and i can turn mega live on or off at any time with a switch up front i am declaring and challenging anyone to prove as of getting this system in December 2021 and then created the, the deployment system and the full ability to change it from straight forward to straight down and any angle in between or in landscape straight forward to straight down with the other system that I had with two actuators that's on the YouTube channel right now. I am the first that can change those positions above the water and have Mega Live also as part of that system. Now, I'm declaring and I'm challenging anybody out there that can deploy the whole system, transducer brackets for the Mega Live or the 360, either one or both on the same shaft or separately i'm challenging anybody that can do it with a remote control with a touch toe control and change the landscape position without taking it in and out of the water all from anywhere on the boat from the front seat the middle steering section the back end however you want to mount it if you want to put this altar up next to your other trolling motor on the front or one similar to it that will self-deploy then I've got the system figured out how to make it change from straight forward straight down and to landscape straight forward straight down pick itself back up out of the boat rotate it about 120 degrees maybe a little less just depends on how yours is rigged up and all from touch toe or wireless remote i told you this was coming this is it this is the top of the line there's nobody out there that's got one that's completely self-deployed and if you like them poles up there hanging off the front of your boat or the side of your boat that that's flopping around in the wind and the waves if you like all that then i'm not the man for you but if if you want something that if you are professional bass fisherman and you want a system that will put your live view transducer in the water and be able to turn it rotate it deploy it pick it back up lay it down and be running and gunning in a few seconds time this system is the only one that does it now this is january the 25th i think hold on i'm gonna get the date right right now hold on what date is this the 25th okay yep my wife confirmed it's the 25th of june 2022 d shade tree engineer evangelist andy rushing has created the only known system the only known system you find one you let me know but i have created hit that bell to be notified over there on the right hit the subscription button look at my youtube channel and call text facebook and send this link to other disabled handicapped and limited mobility and fishermen's in general i think this is especially important 
if you like to crappie fish and you want to see what's underneath your boat. I like to see what's straight down under my boat, either in landscape or straight forward, straight down position. I can adjust it to any position. And then I, you still have to adjust your screen up there, your degrees, but you can just touch your trolling motor a little bit one way or the other and you'll have that bottom straight across and you can see better. So call me. 409-489-2164 folks and if you look on this channel you'll see that i have one of my revelation revival messages i've preached at this church the book of revelation three at least three or four times and they wanted me to come back and do a more in-depth revival it's a five message revival i've got one message posted Folks, this ain't a 30-minute sermonette because it includes a lot of teaching and background. And then every night there's a larger crowd, and i got to back up and get them up to date on what we covered the nights before. So it is in-depth. If you want to understand and rightly divide the Word of God, the Old Testament, New Testament, understand the resurrections, the rapture, and the tribulation period, and the church, and what all is going to transpire, I am a Baptist preacher. I am a Christian, a believer in Jesus Christ by birth, and I am a Baptist preacher by choice. I'm not condemning your rev your uh, religions, but if you are not saved through faith in the blood of Jesus, born of the Spirit, washed in the blood, you're not saved. If I can help you in revival, call me. It's getting dark out here. And so, Jesus bless you. Thanks for looking at my invention. And I expect and hope to hear from Hummingbird and Johnson Outdoors, Minn Kota, and some of you people like Bill Dance and um, Jimmy Horton and Roland Martin and some of you people has got a little clout that could help some veterans with limited disabilities to get something like this so they can, and people that's been injured in accidents and elderly people so they could help get some sponsorship to help pay for some of this stuff to get one of these systems i'll work with you i'd like to see a major company invest in my invention and downsize the equipment and make it easier and lighter now you see it work i'm going to make one more video with the transducer with the uh, uh, solix with everything up on the screen and show you how you have to make the changes on the screen and how it looks and change it through the different positions of forward and down view and put it into landscape all by remote control with a handheld remote wireless control or the foot control i'm going to show you this system in full motion this is full motion now a lot of people out there claim to have uh full motion full adjustability and all that it is not so i'm sorry to tell you this is the only system that will deploy take it out of the water rotate it uh, change the positions of the forward to down any angle and to landscape and back out of landscape and at any angle in landscape this is the only one evangelist andy russian at gmail.com the shade tree engineer, all one word at gmail.com. The shade tree engineer, four words on YouTube. I got a Facebook channel, but I ain't even going to get into that. Folks, Hummingbird has worked hard to try to get my system live view and everything working. I just want to give a shout out to Hummingbird. Minn Kota Johnson Outdoors for a disabled veteran, a handicap, a man that's had his heart taken out and cut the top off of, and two more heart surgeries in November and December of 21, and limited, mo I've sweated out here under this shade tree, East Texas sun, under a tarp trying to get this done, and folks, I ho really hope it's a blessing to a lot of folks. I really do. I may not get a financial nickel out of this. Some rich folks will probably steal it or some of them 
engineers a lie and say they already had it um, in progress. But at any rate, as of June the 25th, 2022, the Shade Tree Engineer is the only one that has a system that's been publicized to do what this one does using the Altero Minn Kota product in connection with a Mega Live transducer and a 360 transducer and a Solix that I really badly need another Solix, folks. I could choose another Solix bad. Uh, the Bass Pro Tracker Pro Guide Deep V 16 and a half foot walk through windshield. I took one console out on the left side because that thing's in my way all the time. Because me and my wife like to fish off the left side or anybody that goes with us. I could very easily mount this on the front deck up there with the other Minn Kota and put both foot controls side by side and do everything I showed you tonight. I could mount it in the middle of the boat and do everything from anywhere on the boat with a wireless remote or wireless, with a foot control. Folks, this is it. Get on, get busy, tell people about this video. Thank you. God bless you. If I can help you in the ministry, I still preach, travel to several different states. I'll be preaching my 50th uh, anniversary message uh, in July. And I still can travel. I have a King James Bible and will travel. Thank you.